So for today, we're going to be looking at these seasonal challenges plus 801 and a reverse in that order. So that way you guys are aware of what's up for the week. We will be talking about a few things at the end of the video. So if you guys just want to see the seasonal challenges and whatnot, I do have time stamps for that reason. So that way you guys can just get to what you guys want to see. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, let's just get into it. So the first one's going to be moon activities on the moon. Earn progress by completing bounties, patrols, public events, and lost sectors. Not hard. It's just literally do moon stuff which is annoying for some people i am some people so i'm not gonna enjoy doing this one blistered fingers rapidly defeat Va vex in gambit or vanguard ops activities i'm gonna do the vanguard just because uh i need to, to get more vanguard ingrams because i want the playlist armor from vanguard for all the classes because i do think the playlist armor looks way better for the vanguard uh flourish of power defeat guardians and mayhem playlist with super abilities Yo, this is hype. I'm happy that Mayhem is back because it's one of the activities where you can just turn your brain off and play. So I'm definitely hyped to play this. Um, or orchestral performance. Get final blows with heavy ammo in Gambit, Crucible, or Vanguard Ops activities. Earn bonus progress for sword final blows. So the easiest thing is going to just, just use Vanguard Ops um, with a sword. That's going to be the easiest thing just because um not only are you gonna spawn in with some heavy but you're also gonna get heavy throughout the mission compared to gambit where you'll get heavy boxes but it's usually not enough in my opinion um maybe actually now that we have a secondary sword that probably just doesn't even matter so if you really wanted to make this fast you could probably use a secondary sword and a heavy sword um and then crucible i mean unless you're using a um a special sword a heavy would just be kind of useless there um and then calibrate long range uh calibrate long range weapons pulse rifles bows and trace rifles bonus progress granted for defeating guardians the defeating guardians is nice but honestly you can just do this anywhere my the thing that i would probably recommend if you really just want to complete that really fast is you can do it with the moon um if you are going to do that but if you don't want to do that go to the cosmodrome and then just go here honestly grasp of avarice the first area i know some people have some gripes about it but honestly it's the most simplest one for me this is honestly this is where i did most of my solstice farming um and that's not even a joke like legitimately uh let me show you real quick so i ended up doing all of these with purely the fives and the 15s rarely did i do these because i most of the time they weren't worth it unless you had five of these like if you had deepened the dungeon for like all of them then it's worth it because you're completing all of those and you're getting 50 for all of them that and at that point it is worth it but if you're doing it like one or two i definitely don't think it's worth it you definitely just do these because they're way faster especially if you get a rhythm going on and especially if you're using certain um abilities and classes and whatnot so i will probably explain this further in depth in a video that i'm going to do later because uh i'll explain later this is the, this is what i wanted to talk about but i'll talk about that later let's look at 801 real quick so 801 we're going to be looking at envious touch so yeah damn it actually looks really cool with this armor or specifically the boots uh we have Cairo's gold And then uh, New Monarchy Succession, which I would definitely recommend this one. It is a little bit more brighter than the other New Monarchy shaders, but it is still really good in my opinion. And then for the armor sets, they're all right here. I'll definitely show you all of them. Let me go to collections real quick while you guys are looking at that. So I, off the bat, Hunters, I think the helmet and the arms and the chest piece are probably the best pieces. Um, boots I'm not a fan of, and the cloak I'm definitely not a fan of either. For the Titans, uh... I really like the boots. The boots I have like a Mongolian set that I have or like more Eastern Asian. I, either way, it looks Mongolian themed, which is why I went with like a Mongolian theme for that one. Um, I think I still have it saved. Um, oh, I'm not on my Titan, so never mind. Um, yeah, the chest piece, arms, helmet, everything that you see that has that orange color does not change color unfortunately and even the boots to a certain extent not even a certain extent they shade it really terribly so you all also have to be aware of that uh warlocks i don't i think it's the helmet and the chest yep 
Helmet and the chest piece are my favorite pieces from this whole set. The arms and the boots I just think are a little bit on the boring side. Same thing with the bond. So definitely let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from 801. I definitely do recommend some pieces. The pieces that I said are really good. But I always, always say this, that if you have the... At that point, I used to say legendary... Um, legendary shards but if you have the currency i would just tell you guys to pick it all up because you might never know when a one piece looks really really good in that on the one set that you're making so definitely recommend all of it for all the classes as for eververse we're gonna go back out real quick just in case some of you are wondering what the fit for the video is because i did forget to do that it is this right here i'm not the biggest fan of balance of power i legitimately think it's the shittiest exotic we've got in this season or this expansion and quite frankly probably the the worst exotic i want to say ever but there's just some really really bad exotics that the hunters have so i can't really in good faith say that because at least this is still usable there's some exotics that legitimately are not usable so yeah as much as i hate this it's not the worst but in my heart it is um for the helmet siege mask or siege break mask interlace grips for the arms war war mines avatar vest for the chest piece and then hardened basilisk cloak for the cloak unfortunately i am using three pieces that are unobtainable specifically the siege break interlace and hardened basilisk pieces these are from season pass um events or season passes i should say so they are unob unobtainable but that doesn't mean like you can't switch them out for other things specifically like the arms you can definitely switch out for let me see where are you did i yeah this one for the helmet legitimately you can even use the new the one we just looked at but if you don't want to use that then anything me like mechanical is going to look really cool with it thankfully this happened today so that's cool but i this is also what i'm going to be talking about in the in the video but if you don't want to use like or if you if you don't have the ones that i was just talking about this works as well actually this looks pretty cool with it so like the last one would be the cloak which again anything mechanical is just gonna look really cool with it but also just remember to like just try everything because you might never know something might look super dope but yeah like this also looks really cool because the cloak actually stop like stops in the armor so it looks like it's actually attached to the armor so this actually doesn't look bad i would probably just switch the helmet out for something else definitely not this helmet because it's pretty terrible but yeah this is like where it comes to like just kind of trust yourself but also i feel like that's a weak ass excuse so like i something like this would also be really cool yeah so i actually don't think this looks bad at all it looks pretty cool i will say the arms probably are a little bit disappointing so i would probably just switch that out for something else like mm, no see this is the problem when it when it comes to like this i actually don't mind so something like this is still pretty cool in my opinion um i do i do think people are still gonna be like nah I think the old, the other the old the set that I showed before is gonna look way better, which is fair considering. I think I do think this does look way better, but at the same time, I'm not like super fond of it. Like I'm not like it's like it's cool, but I would never like have this up there with the other sets that I made. So as much as it does look pretty cool in my opinion, it's just not that good. So let me know what you guys think about the example set. As for Eververse, um, damn, I forgot to make that video. Well, I didn't forget. I just didn't have time, but tangerine gloss for the first shader which yeah we have regal daring i want to make this video because i like regal daring and this is the last week of solstice so that's going to be something i'm going to be trying to be working towards uh making a video for the shader and the armor sets uh we have crab cycle this looks terrifying yeah we have guardian pride and then for the stuff at the bottom, we have fuck, unfortunate, uh, raging loop lepus for this exotic. I forget what it's called. I'm gonna get mad. Yeah, jade rabbit, which looks pretty cool. It doesn't change color. Obviously, this is an exotic weapon. Those don't ever change color because uh, how are they gonna sell us shader changes? Uh, surfer's friend. We have sunny day shell. ramen shop rambler i am tempted to pick this up just because it does look really cool um solar reverence lovely look 
And then for the transmet effects, we have Baroque Entrance. We have Cabal Shield Breaker. And Beach Ball effects. For the shaders, Golden Age Wine. I'm not the biggest fan of this shader, um, usually. We have uh, Bruised Blush, which, yeah. Oiled Algae, or Algae, whatever. And then last but not least, uh, Tangerine Gloss. Again. So that is pretty much it for the weekly stuff. Um, if you guys like the video again, like, comment, subscribe. It really does help because a huge portion of you are actually not subscribed. So yeah, pretty big bummer. But if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub. That really does help and motivates me to make more content for you guys. And also helps me to see what kind of content you guys like. But that is pretty much it. Um, for the later portion of this video, we're going to talk about a few things. So first and foremost, thankfully... Bungie fixed a problem and I think I showcased it a little bit but the armor sets for solstice are fixed so we can get the non glow with the glow which is a big dub and I definitely think uh, Bungie did a good thing with this because man let me tell I was super disappointed with the fact that this like when I first got the glow it just completely turned everything off because again I was hoping that they didn't do that but I should have tested it out first because if I had, I would have had this armor review out way earlier. Unfortunately, they, I don't know what happened. They, I don't know. I am not going to, I'm not going to talk about it because I don't know anything. So I'm not going to speak ignorance or anything like that. So thankfully they fixed it. Unfortunately, they only fixed it for the Titans and Hunters. Not, Warlocks, I don't know what it is, but it's still a problem. I'll actually show you, but it's, it's really annoying because I was hoping they would fix it by before solstice was uh, ended unfortunately um i don't know when they're gonna fix it they said they're gonna fix it in a future update which that could mean literally almost anything at this point so yeah if you if you're wondering if they did fix it they technically did it's just that the warlocks when a bug happened so i'm hoping they fix it earlier rather than later because um I, I do recommend you guys to pick up the, the armor, even though it, it has two glows for some weird reason. The armor is still so fucking cool. And I'm not even kidding. Like, I legitimately do think the armor does look really cool because uh, aside from the helmet, every other piece is fire. So I do th I do think Bungie will be fixing this hopefully before the event ends. But if not, they did say they're going to fix it in a future update, whatever that means. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be reviewing all the armor with the shader on. So that way, Warlocks don't feel like I'm jipping them because I want to be fair to everyone. So I'm going to review it with the glow and then the armor videos. I'm going to do it without the glows and the Warlocks. I will postpone that armor until it's fixed. So that way you guys can get it or I was thinking about just doing it with the glow, but that kind of bothers me because I don't like the glow. Like this is too much glow for me. So I'm thinking of just doing the first option where I withhold the class specific video for the Warlocks until it's done. And then I'll get started on doing that video because I would much rather show you the sets that I made that I feel confident about because if I do it with just the white glow, then it's going to be annoying because I'm going to do it as if there was no glow. So it's going to just look really weird. Like specifically for the chess piece, I would do something like, for example, this is what I ended up doing, right? And ignore that I'm using, or actually just do this, this, this. Sure. So yeah, let's say like I came up with something like this, right? Um, the only thing that I would find annoying is the fact that there's there is no other white glow here, which I would I would tell people like, oh, just imagine the glow like the glow is off because that's literally what I would do. So I might just end up waiting and then showcase that later for you guys. But the review video and the shade, excuse me, and the shader video will most likely be showcasing the glow. So that way it's even to, or equal to everyone, because, again, it's not your it's not the Warlocks fault that this happened and i want to be fair to you guys so that way it's not just like oh the hunters and titans look really cool and the warlocks unfortunately look like trash because they have that glow so yeah um i will most likely be pushing out this video earlier rather than later so expect at least expect at least the the armor review and the shader review to be out 
by before Friday. I want to have it done by Thursday. I think I can do it by Thursday. So I'm going to push everything back and just work on the on these videos specifically so that way I can have it done and ready for you guys on Thursday. So that way, those of you who are still on the fence of getting it or not, I can just showcase and be like, have more eyes on it as well because I do think it's unfortunate. So that is pretty much it. I will probably make a video specifically outlining this so that way more people can get eyes on it because I would much rather Bungie fix this sooner rather than later. I know that's too high for me considering my channel is not that big to warrant people getting eyes so that way Bungie can see it but you might never know some some person from Bungie might see this and be like man we probably should fix this before the event ends because that way I don't want people to miss on, miss out on this because I do think the chess piece is the best piece I think the, I think all of it is really good like I'm not even I'm not even like trying to like trying to sell this shit it's just I genuinely do think a lot of these pieces are really really cool like the arms are super dope the uh the boots are cool the chest piece is super dope i think the only piece that i don't like is the helmet the helmet is truly awful like it's it's this right here honestly it just makes me laugh but yeah i just think the helmet's pretty terrible but everything else like help head down dope as fuck so let me know what you guys think i do apologize this was longer than i in than i anticipate well to be fair i was expecting this to be long because i was going to talk about that but i'm also working on the playlist uh armor i currently have the vanguard stuff for the warlocks actually i can show you real quick the hunters already got the pvp set and then the uh titans are going for the gambit set but to be honest i think i'm just going to showcase the vanguard stuff um because the vanguard stuff is way better it doesn't have any of the annoying insignias that the uh or decals i should say that the gambit ones and the crucible ones have like legitimately look at this it just has the vanguard insignia and that's it this looks super cool so I will most likely um, just do the Vanguard stuff just because that looks way better. And that's the set that I will be using. I'm not going to use a Crucible or uh, Gambit sets just because the Snake in the snake decal and the Phoenix decal piss me off. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I will see you guys later.